so that's the end of our slide guys so um ngayon i'm ano uh, um i want to ask you some questions you can answer um based on your experiences during this pandemic kasi di ba alam naman natin na kung gaano ka challenging yung mga nangyayari sa atin ngayon and we cannot deny na sobrang laking tulong sa atin ng science and technology that is why i'm going to ask you some questions here it is wait yeah the first question is, how does technology help us as individual, in community, or even the world? After answering that, think of what would be our situation today if science and technology would not be exist. Let's start that with Mystical Uy. Do you have any opinion about this? Ma'am, I'm, I'm sorry po, pero wala po. It's okay. Um, how about Miss Patricia? Um, same as with Nicole po, ma'am. I don't have any idea po. Oh, okay. Anyone from the class? Any volunteer? Ma'am, Janeline Rosco po. Okay, go ahead. Ma'am, yung bubonic plague po na nangyari noong mid-1300s can be an example of effect ng society without science and technology. Bubonic plague is highly infectious disease since isa ito sa pandemic na nangyari worldwide like what we are experiencing now. During those times, mapapansin na nagre-rely ang mga tao based sa observations and beliefs lamang yung like yung pag-transmit ng sakit, sinasabi na dahil ito sa soul ng mga namatay, kaya siya lumilipat. And yung mga nasa medical field is hindi ganun ka-responsive dahil walang researches that time. Nagpe-perform din sila ng mga treatment like bloodletting, boil heating, or herb medications which is nagkakos ng transmission kaya sa makagamot. With the lack of science and technology, hindi nagkaroon ng precise understanding about it. That's all ma'am. Thank you. Precisely, tama si Ms. Jeneline. Kasi nga, if we didn't um, discover science, hindi tayo makakahanap ng mga solusyon paano gagamitin yung mga sakit like yung bubonic plague nga nung example ni Ms. Jeneline. So, therefore, kaya ganun kahalaga yung ano, makikita natin gano'n kahalaga yung science and technology. And I need another volunteer o kaya naman can join you answer my question? And join you left. So, can someone uh, volunteer? Ako po, ma'am. Alessandro Pineda po. Okay, proceed. Um, for me po, dahil nabubuhay na tayo sa modern world ngayon, kung saan sobrang importante ng science and technology, tulad na lang sa pang-araw-araw na buhay ng mga students like me, um, nakadepende na din tayo sa technology, lalo na ngayon at online class. And also, sa communication, ito na ang kadalasan natin ginagamit din. Sa situation naman natin ngayon na may pandemic, with science and technology ay maaaring makagawa na ng bakuna para malasan yung effects ng COVID-19 sa mga natatamaan nito. Then, in the future, pwede rin magkaroon ng cure sa sakit na to with the help of science and technology. Ayun po. Thank you, Ms. Alessandra. Tama rin si Ms. Alessandra kasi nga, di ba, like now, na pandemic, um, yung science and technology, mas nakikita natin yung halaga niya kasi nga yung, for example, yung binigay niya is yung um, vaccine. Kung walang science and technology, hindi natin discover yung vaccine dito sa COVID-19 na ito. So therefore, um, kung mag-aaral pa tayo ng mas mabuti para ano, um, ma in the future, ma-identify na natin ang pwedeng cure dito sa sakit na or sa virus na COVID-19. And then, okay class, thank you sa pag-share nyo ng thoughts and opinions nyo regarding dun sa mga questions ko. I hope you learned something from it. Now, take note of it. The world would be chaotic without science and technology as, the, as those two become the most important elements of our lives because we both use them to satisfy our needs thanks to the inventions which made all that become possible therefore if there is no science there will be no technological advancement no human development or simply the world stagnate the world as we know now would not be exist and the world would be nothing and that's all for today thank you class Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul.